Sabra Casey here. Welcome back to my channel. This week I am going to be talking about my 23 week bump date. So if you would like to see how that week went, then just keep on watching. So as you'll see from my belly shot, I am getting humongous. Therefore, my skin is stretching and when your skin stretches, it tends to itch a lot. So I have had a really itchy belly this past week. One of the things that you always hear is not to scratch your belly though because that can cause stretch marks. So I don't need any help in that department. So I've been trying to slather extra coconut oil and such on it, but it's really not doing much of anything. It's just been very, very itchy. If you've watched any of my past bump dates, you'll know that I've been complaining about headaches kind of off and on throughout. And my headaches have been getting a lot worse the past couple weeks. I've been getting headaches almost every day and they're usually in the evening and they're not like just the slight ache where you get a headache. They've been making me nauseous that they've been so bad. So I've been dealing with that for the past couple weeks. I have also started to get the fun Braxton Hicks that you always hear about in pregnancy. With Liam, I did not get those until the third trimester. And even though I have started to get them, they have been so, so mild. And the only reason I can recognize them is just because I've had them before. But they've been really mild and very few and far between. I've also been feeling a lot more of the round ligament pain in my sides, just kind of, again, with the stretching and, and all that fun stuff. So that that's actually been a little bit more uncomfortable than the Braxton Hicks, in my opinion, just because that's more of a constant than a come and go type of pain. I've had two doctor's appointments in the past week. One thing that I had no idea was that my pregnancy is considered high risk. I was logged into the kind of the online portal that a lot of the doctor's offices have now, and I was reading through my notes from my past doctor's visits because I just switched to my midwife group, my last appointment, so I only had the one visit to look at. Anyway, at the end of it, it said high risk pregnancy. I was like, what? Why would I be high risk? Because I, I wouldn't think that I would be. So anyway, I asked at my, this last appointment last week, and they said anytime that you have any sort of medical condition that you're automatically considered high risk. And because I have um, the issue with my thyroid, I have an underactive thyroid, that's considered high risk because if your thyroid is underproducing hormones, then your baby is not getting the hormones that they need to develop. So it can be something extremely serious if it's not under control, but they've tested me my entire pregnancy and all my panels have come back great. So it's not really anything to be concerned about. They just have to keep an eye on it. Because I did have a C-section with my son, that also kind of puts me in the category of high risk. So I'm considered high risk, but uh, I, I'm not really concerned about that classification at all. So because of that high risk classification, they do a lot more sonograms. I get a sonogram every four weeks, and then right now I'm currently seeing the midwives every four weeks. So I have two doctor's appointments a month right now. At this last sonogram appointment, they did check my placenta again. A couple of bump dates ago, I talked about how they thought they may have seen a placenta accreta with me and um, it's basically really serious and it's a big deal. Anyway, they checked it and they were like, oh no, it's fine, it looks fine, we're not worried about it at all. Because basically the bigger you get, your placenta doesn't move, but the bigger you get, they're able to just see a lot better and see with the blood vessels and stuff. And of course, they're gonna keep an eye out for it, but that was definitely a huge sigh of relief to not have to deal with that because I was not freaking out, but I mean, it's a big deal if it were the case. So we got to see little Lucille again, and she is measuring one pound and three ounces, and her heart rate was 152 beats per minute. And actually, she is measuring currently in the 44th percentile, which I was kind of hoping for because I am trying for a VBAC, and not that I want a small baby, but Liam was nine pounds, 12 ounces, and I want all the help I can get with a VBAC. So obviously the smaller the child, the easier time you'll have birthing it, especially with a C-section because of all the pressure and stuff that you can put on your scar. So 
She's in the 44th percentile currently, but the doctor did say they do most of their growing in the third trimester, so I'm not really getting too excited about that. A couple days after the sonogram, I had my regular midwife appointment, and Liam actually went with me, and he was so cute, you guys. He was so cute. Um, the midwife was really sweet, and she had Liam kind of interact with the appointment. She had him help measure my belly, how they measure your centimeters to make sure your growth is on track with that. And then um, she had him hold the Doppler while they were trying to find Lucille's heartbeat and he just got such a big kick out of that. It was the sweetest thing. He kept holding it and he was like, baby sister, baby sister. It was just, it was, it was too much. <laughs> this was a pretty routine midwife appointment. There was nothing out of the ordinary that went on. At my next appointment, I do have to do the glucose test, so I am not looking forward to that. They do offer the jelly beans at this office, and let me know in the comments below if you did the drink or the jelly beans for your glucose sugar test and which one you would recommend. I did the drink with Liam, and I mean, it's hard to drink because it's just so sweet, but I would almost think that the drink is easier because you can just kind of chug it versus having to eat, I don't know, is it like 40 jelly beans or something like that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below which one you did and which one you would recommend. Here is the 23 week bump. All right. Very round and very hard. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.